Hey, what's up, everybody? It's DJ Fanatic Beats, content contributor for LiveOffBeats.com. Um, today's video is basically showing you how to quick render audio from like MIDI data. Uh, it's good for a lot of uses. Uh, but before I jump into the video, um, if you'd like to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter at DJ Fanatic. Uh, Fanatic is spelled P H A N A T I C. And also uh, Instagram at DJ Fanatic Beats. Um, okay, so let's jump into it. Um, the reason to do something like this, uh, to render audio, this is a project that I did, um, you know, uh, actually recently. And um, the reason to do render MIDI data, like this data here, um, into audio in your playlist is good for a bunch of reasons. One, I know off the, off the top is when you have a bunch of really... Um, processing demanding plugins uh, for instance this beat had expands not too bad Omnisphere depends on the sounds that you choose a lot of the sounds you know definitely would chew up a lot of processing like these really complex sounds that I use it's like an atmospheric sound so uh, to do that uh, let me show you right quick uh, make sure I remember because uh, I had to do it for another project so for instance you click on the pattern and it's already, or you can pick here in a pattern picker. Uh, so pattern two is chosen, and you go to edit. Sorry, not edit. Uh, I believe it's. My fault. See, sometimes you get lost because you're just doing different things so many times, but you click patterns and render as audio clip. So when you select that, it asks you what pattern rendering to pattern to wave and of course you have some other other um, parameters that you can set here you know 16-bit you can have it rendered to mp3 or whatever and this is just a quick way of rendering just that pattern and I'll just hit start or you can do background renderings where it closes the program or minimizes the program and does it in the background but let's hit start here and I gotta make sure I don't save this because this is an actual project file and notice it goes in my little wave area and here's the wave um, um, the audio of that MIDI data so what I'm gonna do is actually just play just that so you can hear it let me deselect all and just select that little uh, audio and make sure my stretching's not on so I don't know why I did that but it's a four bar loop probably because there's a, it kept the um, the reverb at the end of that sound so you can always just you know use your whatever tool that you have uh, you, you like I'll choose none for this to give it a nicer real clean cut there and should be about there but you can always use wrap around that way it'll stay within that four bars um, I tend to, yeah, I usually keep it wrap around, but I've been doing so many different projects, um, I had to change those settings. So, anyway, here how it sounds. Let me show you again. That one is actually a pretty simple synth that I use. Uh, here's the Omnisphere sound. So, you can always select it here click in the playlist window or your pattern picker there so what I'm gonna do is just go to patterns and you can do quick render as audio clip basically it does it immediately without that pause and you know them asking you other things uh, asking you what to do as far as the parameter settings so we can plop that right there yes engage that and notice it leaves the tail end as well because I know that sound had a huge um, um, reverb tail so this is them together and all it is is the exact audio of the plugins that you have for this um, MIDI data and another cool reason to do it is like when you're sending uh, stems or track outs to artists or engineers to mix it or you know like labels or placements and stuff sometimes they only want audio stems and this is also a cool way to have like different versions 
of the same project. You can have an um, you can use arrangements here and actually have a whole different arrangement of just audio and the other arrangement as MIDI data. That's another cool trick that um, you know you can do as well. But here's the audio by itself. <laughs> it stops really short and what's cool about the audio um, now you can use it and do some really cool stuff let's just do audio and uh, I don't know why I did why I showed that oh, okay because I didn't add it to yeah so anyway you can kind of like um, for instance uh, you can make it unique and then do like a reverse or you can mess around with the tempo like the um, pitch of it. Um, let me see why it did that actually. Okay, it's there. It's under unsorted because I didn't have it under anything. So for instance, let's say pattern two. What was pattern two? Let's listen to that. It's that simple. Um, okay, so let's um, say we want to like do something really cool with this. Now what you can do with this little piece of audio, you can just totally experiment with different things, like reverse it. Let's see how it sounds with that. And it's a long dead air right here in the beginning. Whoops. Uh, what you can do is just move the sample um, in. Oops. Let's reverse it again. And... don't want to fade in you can trim it there we go so basically it's trimming it backwards because I flipped it so I can take this sound uh, that I reversed and I believe it was pattern two notice the waves look different I think it was pattern two was it pattern two it was pattern one so here's pattern one Sorry about that. Here's pattern one backwards. And that's another cool thing you can do when you render your MIDI data to audio. And also what you can do, I'm giving you some jewels right quick. Um, also what you can do is um, you can chop it and make it almost like samples. You know, uh, That's a horrible chop. Let me zoom in here and hopefully this microphone sounds better I got a new microphone so that way you guys can hear me better uh, than hearing you know laptop fans and whatnot and background noise uh, so let me get a cleaner chop that doesn't matter because I'm not saving all this so for instance I can take this one little audio spot right uh, let's get this tool here unmute that and move it around like I can totally this mouse is crazy uh, let's unmute that and and before you move your chops you kinda wanna make sure you have a nice set to grid oh, let's just do beat on the safe side oops I'm just rushing here this is not a really clean chop but it's so you get the idea See now, what you can do is totally manipulate what you created and actually make like a whole nother beat or a different type of sample, make it almost sound like a sample. And I've done that in beats as well. And people are like, man, what'd you sample? I sampled myself. I actually created a melody, created like this nice drum loop, made it sound like a sample to give it that feel. Um, and it's also another layer of creativity. Um, so here it is with these chops, it might sound horrible. It didn't sound too bad, but obviously there's dead air right here. And I rush in a chop, so you can do stuff like this. This is just freestyling for the sake of the video. little blip in there and you can kind of 
actually make each of these unique and then you can play around with EQ so you can take it as far as you want but uh, that's just to show you real quick how to um, render your MIDI data all this MIDI data all of it into audio any of this and then you can manipulate the audio within the same project or you can have different arrangements for projects and you can you know export an entire project um, with audio stems that's another way to do it so it's it's a very powerful tool where you can use audio and MIDI in the same project and you can do certain fade outs that you can't do in MIDI data uh, you can it's just sometimes a little more tiresome and tedious and um, audio is a little more flexible with certain things but uh, once you render the audio you can always delete these and just start from scratch or you can make things unique and just save it for later or use it in another project so you know the uh, or you can take this audio put it into another um, VST and create a whole nother sound with it uh, through like synthesis and oscillation and envelopes and stuff like that so I don't want to go too far with it but uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I taught you something and you know um, it is a, a powerful tool it's quick and easy again you choose whatever pattern click on or click here go to patterns I like quick render as audio and you know you can check your parameters when you render it uh, renders audio clip and you can you might want to just use wrap remainder that way it stays within the bar setting but sometimes you might want to do leave remainder so and of course you know mp3 actually no it only renders in wave yeah into the program so just give you an idea but anyway hopefully i, I taught you some and uh, again it's dj fanatic beats content contributor for liveoffbeats.com if you'd like to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter at DJ Fanatic or Instagram at DJ Fanatic Beats. All right. Uh, enjoy, enjoy making music. Keep exploring your software and uh, make dope stuff. All right. Peace.